Thomas was alone, as always, him being the only ice cube in the facility. He ate alone, drank coke alone, watched TV alone. Thomas, although being an ice cube, had feelings, hope, and he was a gentleman, at last. While Thomas was very nice, he was quite dangerous as well. Like uh, those people said that he was biohazardist or something, yeah, radioactive, maybe. But then one day Thomas was put to a different place, very different. It was much warmer there for some reason, for him unknown though. To a very different place. His hat and walking stick, as he had them before, were taken away from him and he was seated in a weird glass can. Yeah. But then, in a matter of seconds, minutes, maybe hours, he changed forever. Or at least he thought so, as the thing that he was sitting on became hotter and hotter, he started melting, which made him weird and liquidy. So he continued melting until nothing of him previous self was left, and he was completely liquid. He could feel like his particles were all moving around and became very warm if you, if you compare them to his previous particles. Previous particles were slow, uh, stationary, and very, very unenergetic. But matters were only to get worse. Uh, better, better, yeah. The more energy was added, the more happy was Thomas, and the more he could feel like he could fly. Maybe. In the end, of course. After some time, Thomas almost felt like he could fly, but not yet. He wasn't there yet. He was just boiling, nothing special, like, you know. But then Thomas felt something, something extraordinary. He was flying. In a matter of minutes, he could fly. What would he do after hours? But then... It was gone. He couldn't feel it anymore. The energy wasn't in him anymore. Even though right now he felt like he could be divided into thousands of particles and fly wherever he wanted. But he felt different. Like it was going away from him. Like, like it was leaving him. And so was Cloud Man, aka Thomas, the steam version of him, gone. He could feel his powers decrease as he slowly condensated and lost his energy, becoming his liquid form again. And so he stayed in his liquid form for a while, and he didn't like it. He couldn't enjoy it as much as before, because his particles weren't as happy, energetic anymore, and he couldn't move wherever he wanted as much as he wanted. He couldn't be who he wanted. He could only stay fixed where he was. And so Thomas slowly but surely again became a small, boring, biohazardous ice cube. And so as before, he hasn't felt this feeling yet. As if he has lost everything he and his parts had. All the energy. And so he couldn't, just couldn't feel as before, as energetic. He was frozen, and so was his heart. And this is where the story of an ice cube ends.